I've always wanted to be a CEO, but all the CEO morning routines I've watched are white cisgender males and I really cannot relate. So I've decided to try the morning routines of women I admire who may or may not be CEOs of a company, but are definitely the CEOs of their lives. First up, we have Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, aka AOC, the U.S. representative for New York's 14th Congressional District. I know she's technically not a CEO, but I love her very, very much, and she is definitely the CEO of her life. She starts her mornings at 7 or 8 a.m. and immediately checks her phone for news updates, emails, texts, Slack, etc. I've actually stopped looking at my phone after waking because I charge it away from my bed, but it was nice to sort of chill in bed before moving on with my day. I'm so tired. <sighs> AOC said the most important part of her morning routine is drinking water and drinking it mindfully. And she also said she puts a little bit of lemon in it, but I don't have any lemon at home, so I'm just gonna drink normal water. I'm gonna try to drink at least half of this bottle. Drinking it slowly and mindfully, just like AOC. She also said <sighs> drinking water is also part of her meditation practice, so I am going to meditate for 10 minutes right now. It's kind of chilly, so I'm gonna put on my comfy and then let's move on with the rest of her routine. After meditating, AOC drinks either matcha or coffee and I decided to make some matcha this morning. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Ta da! Also, for breakfast, she either has toast with peanut butter or a smoothie. Because it's chilly, I don't really want a smoothie. But I also don't have like regular bread for toast. But I have waffles, so I'm just gonna have waffles with peanut butter instead. So, my sister made waffles, and I'll just take some. Oh my god, it smells so good. Let's use the rest of this. My spice nut butter. This is probably my favorite nut butter ever. Or this one. This one is berry cake walnut butter. It's so good. I've never had nut butter with a waffle. It feels kind of weird. <laughs> Let's try this. Oh, this is so dry. Mm, no. Okay, I feel like this might be a weird combination, but I have this hojicha milk jam, which I got from Combi, which is also one of my favorite places in LA. But let's see. Oh, the jam's good. Mixed with a chai spice, though. I don't know how I feel. Oh, the jam's so good. <laughs> let's eat this. The last part of her morning routine is doing her skincare routine and I assume getting dressed. This morning, I'm getting ready with Nord Green, which is also today's sponsor. Nord Green is a Scandinavian watch brand based in Copenhagen, Denmark, and I felt like the style of this watch was really fitting for the outfit I planned for AOC, which was a kind of dark academia theme. But the watch's timeless, simple, and minimalistic design matches any outfit and their interchangeable straps, so I could easily switch it up if I wanted to. But most importantly for me, Nord Green's watches are sustainable through its ethical union certified factories, eco friendly packaging, and giving back programs. I'll have more info on Nord Green in the description, and thanks again, Nord Green, for helping me finish this outfit. The next morning, we have Ariana Huffington, co-founder of the Huffington Post, current founder and CEO of Thrive Global, and sleep advocate. 
Her morning routine actually starts from the night before because she's in bed by 11 p.m. and wakes up naturally after at least eight hours of sleep. She takes some time to slow down, set her intention for the day, and does not look at her phone. This is the key to her morning routine. Now, I remember she said she meditates for 20 to 30 minutes and she also does yoga and cycling. Cycling for 30 minutes and I don't remember how long she does her yoga. I'm technically not supposed to use my phone, but I don't remember her morning routine, so I'm gonna use my phone. <laughs> Even though I really did not do much of her morning routine aside from like waking up, I think Ariana Huffington's morning routine is one of my favorites because it is the most comforting one for me. She said she doesn't use her phone however i use headspace to meditate so i'm going to be using my phone using headspace i normally meditate for only around like 10 minutes but i'm gonna meditate for 20 minutes today I just finished the 20 minute meditation. It's so much longer than what I normally do, but I'm honestly a fan. I'm thinking of doing 20 minutes of meditation every day because it feels so good. I'm here for it. I'm to go and work out. Then we have Oprah's morning routine. Oprah needs no intro. We know who she is and she is definitely a CEO. She wakes up at 7.30 then takes her dogs on a walk. I don't have any dogs or pets so I just went on a walk sans animals. Then she drinks coffee and meditates. It doesn't specify how long she meditates so I opted for 15 minutes. After her meditation, Oprah does resistance training for one hour, so I took an army class, which is also the training program or coach that Oprah works with. And finally, she goes and harvests her potatoes, which I did not do because I do not have a potato farm or a garden, so instead, I roasted potatoes. This morning, we have Emily Weiss, the CEO and founder of Glossier's Morning Routine. She starts her morning with hot lemon water and I actually got lemons this time around. So here's my lemon water. Apparently this is the first thing that Emily Weiss drinks and does is make her lemon water and drink her lemon water. I think I need it too because I woke up with a really bad stomach ache. But I added hot honey to this. There's like a spicy kick at the end and I'm like, this is really good. I might make this a regular in my routine. I think it's nice to make yourself a drink in the morning. I almost never do that. Then she chills with her cat on her phone. I don't have a cat, but I can definitely chill on my phone. After, she takes her morning shower, and I usually shower at night, but mornings are okay too. Okay, so because Emily Weiss is the CEO and founder of Glossier, I thought I'd wear my Glossier hoodie. I actually didn't wash my hair, which simplifies my morning a lot, mostly because I washed it pretty recently and I'm trying to not wash it very often because I recently colored it. Okay, let's do our skincare routine. I don't know what's going on with my face. The first thing I do for my skincare routine is I put on some toner. So I actually don't use any Glossier products for my skincare routine. I have this. Let's use this. This is Glossier's bubble wrap. And then I'm going to put on this Curology Moisturizer. And that is my skincare routine. Because this is Emily Weiss's morning routine, I'm going to put on makeup and use a full face of Glossier because I actually use Glossier's makeup. I don't use their skincare stuff because it just doesn't work well with my skin. I don't like it. It makes me break out. Let us start with the skin tint. I actually really, really like the skin tint. Maybe my favorite makeup product that they have. 
Then brows. Glossy is known for their boy brow, but I actually don't like boy brow and I still prefer drawing it. But I do have an alternative to boy brow, which is N Cosmetic Brow Brush. And I like that. So I'm gonna use that. It's basically the same thing as boy brow. I can't tell the difference, honestly. And when I say I can't tell the difference, I mean I feel like it looks the same without and with. It just makes me feel like I put on makeup. That's basically my boy brow do. Okay, 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 okay. I love Glossier because I feel like it is a really good brand in terms of how it rose to its fame. The branding is really good. Emily Weiss is really smart in how she designed everything. But their products, PBH, their products are not that good. It's just for the aesthetic. Some products I really, really like, but the most of the times it's just like, eh, it's pretty good. But M Cosmetics, their products are genuinely really, really good. Although I do like how Glossier normalized like the no makeup makeup. And that is it. Oh, wait, hold up. Let's finish this with some blush. Wait, I'm kind of digging this look. Lastly, we have Michelle Fawn's morning routine, which is the most chaotic, so I saved it for last. It's a little outdated, and I doubt she still does this today because it doesn't seem emotionally healthy, but here it goes. She starts her morning by brushing her teeth and doing squats at the same time, which is a lot tiring than I anticipated because one, it's hard to breathe while doing this, and two, also hard not to choke while doing this, so yeah, I gave up after a while. Then she takes a shower and apparently responds to emails while showering. I truthfully did not do this, but you know what? It's fine. After I continued on, did my morning skincare and makeup. While I wait for my moisturizer to dry, let's put on some jewelry. This is the same watch as I wore in the first day of this CEO challenge. I'm a big fan of this gold detail. Since I am doing Michelle Fawn's Wilden morning routine, let's use some N Cosmetic stuff for today's look. I actually have so much N Cosmetic stuff. I have class in three minutes. Ah, I'm trying to be I'm stressed because I have to rush eyeliner. Actually, the eyeliner is my favorite product of M Cosmetics. So let's do this. Very quick three to four step makeup routine. I'm just putting on some blush. I'm done. She finishes her morning routine by doing push-ups while looking at her schedule and planning the rest of her day. So I actually didn't look at my schedule while doing these push-ups, but instead I was on my Zoom class while doing these push-ups and I only lasted for like five push-ups, but you know what? That's fine. And that concludes all the morning routines that I've tried this week. I definitely feel more motivated and empowered to be the CEO of my life and just in general get my life together so yeah i hope you enjoyed my little journey and thanks for watching i will see you next time bye